now we figured out how to rule the world let us see how we can tell um, how we can understand the relationships if you already know that it will be easy pretty easy for you to understand now I did a little image that um, kind of explains it we have users table we have country table if you check our database right here you will understand that we have users and we have countries and they have a relationships in which every user belongs to a country if I check the the if I click on browse and and to see the the columns on the user you have uh, state ID users have need to have belong to a state which is a state ID they need to belong to a local government they need to belong to a country you understand so we're working out the country right now so what what it will involve is simply we uh, we have to tell the users model that it belongs to a country so if we go to user the model We need to tell a user that you belong to a country. So every user belongs to a role. This has been set default uh, for you by raw PHP. Remember, if you want to read up about relationships, you should um, go to Laravel Eloquent ORM and then you hit on the relationships. All right, there we are. Hit on relationships. It will teach you a lot about what I'm going to do right now. So, but for now, let's just assume that you already understand what I'm doing. So just um, see what I'm doing so you can adjust yours, all right? So from here, this is where we need to tell um, users that it belongs to a country now. So how does it work? If you come here, you see that this is a sample users table that we have, and these are the columns. We have ID, we have first name, last name, email, and a whole lot of things. Among that, we have country ID. Now, this makes reference to a country table and the ID field, okay? ID column okay so we have country table we have the ID column so this is how you make reference and remember that here it is singular country and here it is plural the name of the table is plural but the, the foreign keys you have the singular concatenated with ID all right so uh, automatically if you have this name correctly this way Laravel or cake PHP will automatically know that you're making reference to this table now the next thing we're going to look at is um, we have Dave so what, what this means is that every user be, depends, the user stable depends on the country, on the countries that we understand. So that, that is what it means. So the, the table with the, the foreign key, this is a foreign key, and here ID is a primary key, here it is a foreign key because it is foreign to the user stable. Now any table that has a foreign key is depending on the table that owns the foreign key. You understand? So this user's table depends on a country, which means a user must or any user should have a country, okay? Then it also means that the user belongs to a country. So every user gets to belong to a country because the foreign key of the country is inside the user's table. So this is the word we are looking for. I just wanted us to arrive at it. That's why I use depends. But then it also implies another thing that many con a country can have many users. You understand but with this arrangement a user cannot belong to many countries so currently the arrangement of a database is that a country can have many users so um, this is what it means Dave can belong to Nigeria Cherry Cynthia and uh, so on and so forth can all be Nigerians okay all of them can use a country ID so this is what it means we need to tell a model that this relationship exists so that it will cater for it uh, automatically whenever we're making a database query so we have to just copy this uh, copy and um, paste every user belongs to a country and uh, this kind of solves our problem where we have we just call it country okay so we can say app models country you know why this works because we already have a model called country if you don't have a model called country this will not work so automatically every um, user belongs to a country but then this doesn't solve our problem which means what, what this simply means is that from the user's table we can get the country name but then we need to what we are trying to solve is that from the country's table we need to get the list of users so we can say every country has many you understand every country has many users so we can call this this is a, a country model and we can call this user 
we can say every country has many users so it, since it has to do with many users you understand um, these are just minor naming conventions to make it easy for you and your team to be on the same page so here we have every country every user belongs to one country so that is why it's singular here on the countries every country has many users so here we're just going to change this to has many has many users all right and then uh, we're going to look at the user table because we are in app models we have a, a model called user all right so now we've sorted this out automatically because we name things properly it will uh it will work out for us very well all right so you can always read more about this it's different from countries okay good we are good to go so which means in our model in our controller we have a country controller so this fetches all the countries so this means if we come here in our views method and we do a var dump we'll discover that something is already available for us all the list of users so uh, from here we found all the countries but then from our country model we also told, told it to find all the users that belong to this country so from here if we do uh, a var dump on country users method so um, all the list of users that belong to this country is available here country all right uh, supposed to be one year okay so all the list of users that are in this country are available here so which because we named the particular method in our model country so if you come here and list name it as uh, list of oops, list of users that means the methods name in our controller should be list of users this way so uh, whatever you name it in your model is what is going to be in the controller all right so let's just quick do a quick var dump we're going to see a mumble uh, data that um, but then inside it we'll see list of users we can just look closely so if we go back to our view and we we'll refresh we're going to see a var dump of uh, what we're looking for see the var dump of um, everything inside users but then if we just do a control f and search for a user oops so basically it is here but then we have to clean this up let me show you how well we can achieve that uh, first of all we need to make sure that a user belongs to this country we've not added a user to this country so we'll head over to our database and add at least one user to nigeria remember nigeria is country id of 161 i know because i can look at this place and see that is country id of 161 so what i can do is quickly head over to my database and then in the users table we can see that the country id is empty for both of them so i'm just going to make one 161 and then at least I've added one user and the user's name is John I've added John to the country Nigeria so that doesn't solve all our problem because if we come here and refresh um, let's delete the var dump okay if we go to this place and delete this var dump and refresh just have a clean page so our page is clean now we still don't see john so we need to go to the view and tell it to display john all right so uh, if we get to the view if we go to our resources views countries and uh, in the view.twig this is the title where we have country name dash country code as you can see here country name dash country code so somewhere underneath will list list of users that belongs to this country so in the panel body i'm just gonna do um, a h2 tag or whatever just to say list of users from I'll now put the country name from uh, Nigeria all right and then um, I'll just close the h2 tag and then underneath I'll put the list so first of all let's do a ul on that list this is basic HTML so um, I'm just trying to create a list in HTML inside it I'll have an li that um, is basically a list okay 
So now I need to, remember that it's a for loop, it's a loop. That's a list of users. So we need to create a loop around it. So what we have to do is to um, use uh, raw PHP uses tweak. So we use the tweak uh, template to create a for. So we can say that for let's just call each person a user in country dot users so this is the same thing as when we said in the um, in the controller remember in the controller we had a country variable that we passed into this and then we were able to do something like this where we had country dash users all right so since we pass this variable to the view and as country we also have this um, users inside it available to us from the view so if we get back to our view we can say country dot users all right so we're now saying go through each country to users and assign user variable into it that's basic for loop all right and then um, we're going to end the for we're going to do something like this to end the for loop you can just say end and for this is basic tweak templating all right and uh, if you ever ha need have any issues with tweak you can always go to google and say tweak uh, documentation just tweak documentation then you, so you can read up more about tweak it's just like blade laravel blade or cake php ctp so uh if you just click on it you read a lot about tweak all right so back to our code we're trying to uh, let me just show you this is the tweak um, documentation it can always show you how to do very little um, cool, cool stuff very nice cool stuff okay and uh, of course you have uh, other links to click on so back to our code we're trying to get a list of users we're saying okay look through countries users all the users there and display it to us so what we're going to do is we're going to just say uh, first name no need to say first name we can just uh, put a h a href okay and um, so i'm using a href because i would like to make it a link but before then let us now list the user's name so we can say exactly uh, since we use the user var user variable here we can just say user dot first name we know we are using first name because in our database uh, right here the we have a first name field so we can now say user dot first name last name any of the fields here so i'm just going to use first name and last name for this so user dot first name and then i'm going to give a space and say user dot last name user dot last name last name and then we're good to go finally we're going to put the the um we're going to put the link so we're going to say path for And then we're gonna do what the path is. It's, it's users dot view, and then we're trying to view uh, a specific user. So we put this. Oops, um, that's a little mistake. It's supposed to be path for users dot view, and um, I'll explain what I'm trying to do now. But basically, I'm trying to create a link to id of a user and then um, basically we are looking at user.id so here user.id we're trying to create a link to the user's profile too all right so what we have here is um a href this is how to create link in raw php on the so this link is basically pointing to somewhere in our route that has users.view so if we go to our route file and um We'll look for users so we have users dot view slash id so that's what we're trying to create so this is the link we're calling right now the path for so if we go to the view we're saying path for users dot view so uh then we're going to put a slash this is supposed to be a slash that's why it's a comma the id remember that our, our route file this users dot view expects an id so that's what we have here and then we're passing in the id and then the value of the id is what we have here user dot id just like we have user dot name here so this pretty much works well for us okay raw php comes with other links that you can just look at and see how it's done 
So with this now, we are pretty much sure that it will list the list of users in our database. So if we go back to our website, here we should see list of users here. If we refresh, we see list of users from Nigeria. We see one user at uh, John Doe at me. So this is how to create um, the relationship in uh, in raw PHP. And I hope you understand it. If you have any questions, just drop it below. In the next video, we will now see how we can do this in an automated way. Thank you very much. See you.